Hello everyone, uh, this is a series of tutorials that I'll be doing uh, for nurse modeling in Autodesk Alias. So, since I saw that there's not a whole lot of tutorial in YouTube that uh, has a good quality for beginners, I mean, that that's kind of understandable since the software is aimed at uh, professionals who join a uh, automotive design company or something and it's really really uh, priced uh, I mean it's really priced very high so it's not possible for individuals to buy it uh, usually but if you are someone like me and will spend a lot of money on software um, you like you like to experiment and get into automotive designing then alias studio is the way to go so um, I'll start with, uh, I have three packages as you can see here, so I'll just uh, go and start here. So I have Alio Studio, uh, Auto Studio, a speed form, and then all these three comes with the installation of Auto Studio. And then I, I am, uh, I have been so far a primary uh, video game modeler and artist, so I used to make props uh, for video games, character designing and all that sort of uh, poly modeling uh, but now I have uh, been transitioning to Autodesk uh, alias for nerves modeling and these kinds so it has been somewhat a bit of a journey for me and I thought that if anyone else out there is doing the same uh, it would be my, really my pleasure to help them get through this as easy as possible so uh, let me just, uh, in, in this part of the tutorial, I'll just uh, tell you about the view and how to navigate the uh, viewport and everything uh, in Speedform. So this is Speedform is like a sub part of Auto Studio. So it's there to like, it does not have all the functionality of Auto Studio, but it's also very uh, simpler and uh, very intuitive to use so you can do a lot in just a very short time so it's like just to quick uh, quickly manufacture your ideas in the moment of inspiration so it's nice to just think out something and then just get on the computer and you don't have to fiddle around with a lot of tools so you can just uh, model something out very quickly and that also means that it lacks a lot of tool uh, that usual polygon modelers and let's say uh, software like Max would miss but I mean it's there's always a workaround for those kind of things so uh, let me just tell you how it is so these are tabbed like a chrome browser or something so these are these are tabs in it so if I want to create a new file I can just uh, open up tabs I don't want to do that so I'll just close that now this is the browser uh, which will uh, this is like a scene uh, browser so it will just uh, display everything uh, unsaved because this is not a saved viewport and units is an mm if i click here i can change it a named views uh, if i click and expand it it's all here you can go ahead and change it right now i will go into perspective so we can do there from home and then there's the origin of course so there's uh, origin xyz and all these planar objects we don't need that if we go uh, start uh, make any bodies in the viewport it will come below here under bodies uh, this is uh, the main toolbar that uh, you'll be using to create everything from rendering to creation and everything uh, sorry uh, from creation to rendering and everything else in between so there's three modes to it sculpt detailing and render so in sculpt it looks like this in detailing it looks like this uh, note that these uh, few options are the same between detailing and sculpt and in render it will take a bit of time to go into render uh, and it looks like this so in sculpt mode well in any mode you can uh, move around the viewport while holding alt and shift so you can change this of course you can change everything uh, but the default is how you move around in any, any alias uh, program is you hold on alt and shift keys on the keyboard and then with the left mouse button you click it will rotate around with the middle mouse button it will pan around and the right mouse button if you go up and down it will uh, zoom out and zoom in 
so uh, that's how you move around you can obviously go here uh, to file and uh, preferences then go to uh, where is it, where is it? Uh, alias no no uh, sorry yeah, I just uh, yes there it is so under general and alias speed form you can change this to uh, default mouse control to either speed form uh, alias or maya so i always use it at alias the default is that uh, itself so uh, i don't use maya because it's very similar to 3ds max but then again it's slightly not so similar so it's like every time i have to transition between because i'm still like not using this for production so every time i have to transition between um and the software while i'm playing around in it and max for actual work i mess it but you can obviously change it to maya if you have been modeling in maya and it helps you uh, so let's uh, start with a few uh, object creation and so this is a primitive we won't uh, get into uh, detailing today, but in this video, I'll just uh, give you a, s a quick view of how you can create something. So here's a box, let's say, uh, and when you s create a something, uh, it won't, by default, it won't create it on the home grid. It will ask you on which plane do you want it to create. So if you go on to this quadrant, or if you can select, you know, this, uh, this plane here that you can see in between it will create on the home grid or the bottom grid the main grid that is or if you move to this quadrant it becomes the right view on this quadrant the left view on uh, so it, it's like this you know it, do you follow what I'm getting on the top corner but this will not change if you uh, if you were to let's say move it around this won't change so so it's still this one that's into perspective so anyway what we'll do is we'll click here and then how to create a box is we'll uh, we can click anywhere uh, but unlike max and maya you don't create it from this point this will be the center of origin so I drag I am not holding my mouse down I'm just dragging without the click I click again and there it is it's been formed now it's not completely formed yet so uh, it will ask you a few things so you can change its uh, size still it's still under creation and you can change it and then you can move it like this and all these three sliders that you see these are for how many segments do you want so let's say you want one one and if you can if you click on it you'll see a minus and plus so you know how much do you let's say I'll increase this one to around 10 let's say so there's 10 and uh, you can see on the right hand side there's uh, all the parameters that you want uh, if you can click here okay or you can right click and then move to OK. You, you also don't have to right click and move. You can just right click and drag it to the right side. So quickly it will click on OK. So this is very uh, useful if you have a tablet handy with you or if you're working with a tablet. Uh, so just like uh, it's like flicks of shortcuts. This is very, very useful. I use it all the time. And uh, I mean, it will take some time to get used to it, but uh, it's very useful so selection uh, is uh, basically similar but it's uh, you can have filters to select either just the vertex which is a shortcuts is the a and just the edge or face or all of it or which is the default mode by the way so all of it so if i go on to an edge hover over an edge it will become white like this and then I can click on it to select it and then I can go hover over a face to select it and now my face is selected and the edge is selected and if I go double click on the edge it will uh, loop itself uh, so like this and then if I go hover over a vertex the vertex will be selected 
So this is how you uh, manipulate objects. Uh, clicking uh, on a f double clicking on a face will select the whole object. And now uh, there's three modes of uh, there's actually four modes, but uh, never mind that. So there's three modes of uh, viewing an object. So one is via the box mode, or this is the control cage of the object. Number, uh, I'm pressing one, sorry, one on the keyboard to view this. When I press two, it will uh, show it with the subdivision and not subdivision, with the nerves, a T-spline surface, and uh, with the control edge, a case as well. And if I press three, it will just show the T-spline surface with uh, all smoothing done. So uh, um, by pressing F1, we can toggle between a uh, shaded mode and flat face mode. If we press F2, uh, we can toggle between uh, edged faces and just uh, without the wireframe. And uh, switching in between two, like if I press F1 now and if I press F2 with it, it will just go into wireframe mode. So this is very useful combination. And uh, you can click a face or uh, edge and hold Alt on the keyboard and then drag to extrude it. So that's it for today. Uh, I think uh, that's enough uh, for a first lesson. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to change anything, if you want to move around, you can always play around in it. Uh, there's so much that uh, you can do. You can import an image. So if you, let's say you have a uh, Attached canvas, background canvas. So if you have to model something, you know, in the background, you can have it uh, on the grid itself, so that you can model on top of it, on the side of it. You can um, do all types of basic operations here, from uh, shape to create to bridge, fix holes. This is like cat poly in poly modeling. Bridge, extrude, thicken, and all of that usual thing we do in poly modeling and uh, then we will go into detailing uh, i mean i'll i'll go through this in the next video i'll uh, just tell you how to do uh, how to go around making a model so let's say a basic car or something uh, or, or maybe a designing like a designer product or something like that anything anything mechanical and then we'll uh, go to detailing and how we can uh, combine using booleans and how uh, nerve subject, uh, nerve or T-spine surfaces uh, react with booleans. It's so very, very easy with booleans of in nerves because you don't have the headache of uh, looking at topology and messing it up. So it's really, really easy. I'll tell you that. And uh, so that's it for today. If I helped you and I uh, like for because more tutorials will be coming and uh, also subscribe to the channel because you will uh, otherwise you'll miss the upcoming videos. So this is like a series uh, series that I will do for uh, Autodesk Alias, uh, including Speedform and Auto Studio. Auto Studio will be a bit further from now because uh, it's been a while. I mean, uh, a speed form will take about a few videos to complete. It's not that it's not that complicated, but it's still, you know, it's a new software for you. And I would not want to skip anything. Uh, so take care.